All right, guys, well, I had a ton of requests to cut this Dollar Tree body armor open. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I just went to the Dollar Tree, picked up about five or six items, and made some homemade body armor that actually stopped all the way up to a 357 Magnum and multiple hits of a bunch of different rounds. So go check out that video. But I'm going to cut it open and see what it looks like. I normally cut these things open on the video, so I don't know what I was thinking when I didn't do that. But let's see if we can peel this back. Ugh. All right, so in the heat, it looks like the glue started melting, but you can see. So they went through the pan, all the holes right there. They would hit the rocks, shatter, and this glue mixture would hold them together, which is pretty cool. Um, and then they would get embedded in the book. Here is a, here's a round. That's pretty cool. There's one. And I bet you there's a bunch more wedged inside this book. That is really neat. So it looks like they went, some went all the way to the back. pieces of things that is really cool and that's the 223 that went all the way through but everything else looks like it got stuck inside the book so that is really really neat I am super impressed with how well this did I'm gonna try to find some more of those rounds so here is a big 45 or 357 Magnum there's a big honking round got stuck right in there here is another one wedged inside the pages. And another one right there. So I'm going to dig through and see if I can't find any more. So we found a ton of the rounds inside this armor. So it looks like it stopped a lot of them. And also I think a lot of them got fragmented up and stuck inside the glue in rocks. But that is just really sticky and gummy. So I hope you guys liked the video. And if you haven't seen it again, go check out that Dollar Tree Body Armor video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.